Come on, why everyone? Let's uh, let's continue. I don't remember what I was doing. I think we have more lessons, or did we just finish a lesson? Continue lessons. All right. Welcome to lesson eight. In this lesson, we're going to be we are going to learn five kanji characters pic pictured above. I'll go through them uh, one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. That is so many strokes. Alright, uh, there is no... Looks like there's no konyomi pronunciation. It's just ko and kyo. Uh, written with ten strokes. It re represents school and exam. All right, the kanji uh, kyo is not normally represented with a kanyomi reading. When you read kyo, your best bet is to use the onyomi reading of kyo or ko. Uh, the shape of ko is formed by a few different kanji. Use the saying, the school was uh, has six wooden crosses and is next to a big tree. So as you can see, there's this, you can actually make out the kanji symbol for six. Uh, there's a cross there, which is not a kanji. Or at least it's not one we've learned. Um, and then there's kind of like a thin, uh, a rather thin tree. So there it is, Co for uh, for school. Mana, mana, or gaku, study, learn. Written with eight strokes. All right, starting to learn the shape of of mana is very close to uh, child, which I don't remember the pronunciation for, or sorry, letter. We use a, a similar way to remember it. The child uh, studies under the ornate roof. So yeah, for letter, there the there's a mnemonic involving child under a, a roof, and this one's an ornate roof instead. All right. So this one looks like stop with a ground on top. Correct. Tada masa se show written with five strokes. The shape of uh, of correct contains the kanji for stop. So we remember it by saying the stop at the line is the correct thing to do. Tada masa se show. Enter. Enter, insert, e, hi, or new. So the mnemonic for new is usually you're entering a new location. Enter, insert, the shape of of new represents uh, resembles the entryway to a tent. Okay, enter, insert. Uh, heaven? Nope, exit. Alright. Shutsu, written with five strokes. Exit, leave. The shape of Shutsu is made up, uh, made from the kanji for mountain. To remember, use the saying, when you exit the mountain, you'll see another mountain. Congratulations, you completed this lesson. You now know five more kanji along with their English meanings and their pronunciations. Well done. Time to fail a quiz. Now that the lesson is over, I have a quiz for you. Or I have to quiz you. I do hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. What is the English meaning for... Uh, I believe that's study. What are the onyomi sound readings for uh, the thing with the tree and stuff? <laughs> uh, ko? What are the kanyomi Japanese readings for of 
Uh, correct. Uh, day? No. E? No. Is it really Tata? Okay. What is the English meaning of exit? What is the correct kanji for the meaning enter insert? Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on your way to mastering kanji. <laughs> Didn't even go into any dialogue. It's like, you know what? You, you know the drill at this point. All right, reverse learning already. All right, so there's water, day, five, and then study, learn. The study, learn one is the one I'm not entirely certain about. I think that's the one we just learned, wasn't it? Well, let's stick with the ones we know. So, I know this one's five. Day sun. Water. Okay. Study, learn. There we go. Okay, exit, leave to fire and evening. So, exit. Uh, evening. Two. Fire. To drop T. That's nice of it. You're a big one. Okay. Uh, letter. There are two enter inserts. New. New. Was in touch. Okay. Uh, we'll do above first. Got poisoned. All right. Well, we can deal with the poison afterwards. Stand rise. I thought that would be up, but that's different. I don't remember what stand is. That's correct. Enter, exit, study, school. So it's definitely not one. It's not a new one. That's down. That's up. That one is either stool or writing. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it is. Wrong. Nope. Okay. I thought that was stool, not stand. Alright. Why am I using items? I never use items. 
Uh, we'll use you. Cure poison. And uh, we'll heal you up. There we go. Okay, study, learn, day, suns, two, and tree wood. Let's do study, learn. Guck. Two. Duck. Tree. Should be this one. Boku. And then day, sun. School exam. Uh, do, 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 do. Inside, middle, correct. Uh, correct. Inside, middle. Thousand. Spirit, mind, air. Okay. Got it. Got total solar glow, which I'm guessing is just a better heal. It's the boss. Okay, so we're back to normal symbols. Or not reverse learning, rather. Exit. Yeah. Down. Cut. Um, spirit. Iki. Oh wait, that's not it. I... All right, that one's school. Okay, and that one's correct. All right. Uh, rest day off. I didn't really know that one. I just remember positions of the symbols from the previous thing. Uh. Six. Okay. All right. Life birth. And then that one is power. All right, level ups. Wait, that's it? Lots of gold, lots of water, lots of fire. I think I need... So every three fire, I can make one jewel. So I need 36. So I don't have enough for that. Water and earth. Or stone, rather. And then... Spirit. Or sorry, that's not spirit. That is wheat and water. Okay, I can do wheat and water. And then there's, of course, rice and water, which I think, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that. But it looks like I got some affection quest going on. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that stands out. Looks like there isn't. So 
let's go pay her a visit. Yo, I've always been a small town girl, so I feel right at home here. We should hang out. We can kick back on the grass and watch the clouds overhead. Sure. Man, do I love this little town of ours. It reminds me a little bit of home. It's small, the people are friendly, and the fresh air smells wonderful. It sure beats the big city. Places like Tokyo scare me, scare me to bits. So many bright lights, so much traffic, so many loud noises. Bleh. How can people live uh, somewhere like that? Haha. <laughs> you must think of me as a scared little country girl, huh? Well, that's a bit true. But... I came to Japan to face some some of those fears. If I'm going to be an adult now, I need to get used to life in places bigger than my hometown. I grew up in this tiny little fishing village in New Zealand. Everyone there is so nice, and we had all we needed. So I never had a reason to venture out. But when I finished school, some of my friends admitted uh, they couldn't wait to leave. They took off to faraway places, and I missed them all so much. I started to wonder if there's more out there in, in the world. More than I could see from my my tiny little town, and that thought scared me. So I decided to challenge myself. I picked the busiest and most exciting country I could think uh, think of, Japan. And I booked and I booked a flight. I never expected to end up back in a little town like this, fighting to save the country. Haha. <laughs> All right, more power, more speed. Learn coral breeze. Build a wheat field. All right. Now we have Cato and Doggo. So that's just going to get us steady amounts of money, which honestly we don't really need. As long as you know your knowledge, you don't exactly need any gear in this game. Uh, let's take a look at the skill, though. Coral Breeze. Increase the ally's power and speed, which... I guess that increases HP and turn order, I guess. Anyway, um, I guess what's our next step here? Okay, chapter 5. Oh wow, we're just diving right in, aren't we? Welcome to Lesson 9. In this lesson, we're going to learn five kanji characters pictured above. We'll go through them uh, one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. Okay. Hana. Hana, or flower, also ka and ke, written with seven strokes. The shape of flower is formed by the kanji for change, and another shape representing grass plant and use the saying, flowers blossom when plants change. Hana, kake. Okay, continue. Kusa. Kusa, grass plant. Written with nine strokes. The shape of kusa uses the kanji uh, for early, you use the saying, grass always grows early. Uh, rice paddy? I think that's what it is. Ta. Uh, yep. So, ta and den, written with uh, five strokes. Rice field, the shape of rice field resembles a field surrounded by a square fence. Written with five strokes. I'm not sure what that one is. Ame. Rain. Ame ama. U. Written with eight strokes. The shape of rain resembles rain falling uh, over an uh, over an umbrella. Continue. Sora. 
the sky empty, Sora, Kara, A, and Ku. Written with eight strokes. The shape of sky resembles a window lo looking out at the sky. Not sure how you got that symbol, but okay. Continue. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. You now know five more kanji along with their English meanings and their pronunciations. Now that the lesson is over, I have to quiz you. I do hope you've been paying attention. What is the English meaning of... Flower? What is the konyomi Japanese reading for rice patty? Den? That was the other one. Ta? What is the onyomi sound reading of uh, rain? Ku? Or is it ku? What is the English meaning of sky? What is the konyomi Japanese reading of uh, grass? Or is that fl No, that's grass. No, wait, that is change. No, that, that's not change. That's early. So it's Ame or Kusa, because Hana's flower. Kusa? Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on the way to mastering kanji. I heard you, that you all explored the foreign temple. How did it go? We ran into the monk we encountered back when this all began. Is he a friend of yours? A friend? What was his name? He wouldn't tell us. I see. Elliot! Amani isn't involved with the monk. She's a shrine maiden. Caught up in, in this like all of us. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Amani. It's okay. The appearance of the temple still confuses me. I can't help but wonder if more places of foreign origin will begin to appear in Japan. What do you mean? You saw the temple, right? It's clearly not of Japanese design, and it didn't exist until a few days ago. I was in the area when it appeared. So I have to wonder if more places of similar design will also appear. Perhaps they will take the place of the cities that have vanished. Is that possible? After everything we've seen, I wouldn't rule it out. Hey, everyone! What's going on over there? You won't, you lot won't believe this, but we just watched an entire city appear out of thin air. What the heck? Where is it? Look, just over there, past the forest. Those buildings and lights came from nowhere. I can't believe it. Could, could Japanese cities be finally returning, just like that? It's happened just as I, th I thought it might. We need to get over there right now. Let's go. All right. Any quest? Any quest? I have a quest from a duck. You always have to take the duck quest. Yo, human, it's me, your boy, duck. Let me a wing, will ya? I lost my darn autograph poster when I was out hiking. You gotta go to the temple and find it for me, yo. Please bring back my autograph poster from the temple as soon as you can. All right, all right, we'll do that. Grand City. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. Let's see if we can get this done quickly. Can't even take... There's no need to go upstairs. Well, I'm glad you know, know better than I. There it is. Okay, I'll go and grab it. Only got a few minutes left, so that's why I've been kind of avoiding the enemies right now. Alright. Uh, eight. Thousand. Uh... Uh, 
spirit mind air. Wish he had done that. Alright, down. Fire. Day. So yeah, uh, total solar glow heals everybody. So it's actually more efficient to use if you just need to heal, uh, if everyone needs healing. Okay, got Artograph poster. Oh, you found my autograph poster. Quack quack. I'll just take that off you. Thanks. Shuba shuba. Well, you've done a great thing uh, for me today. I am forever thankful. As a re re reward, I'll teach you some new kanji. Welcome to a bonus kanji lesson. We'll learn just two new kanji. Bamboo, also known as take or chiku, written with six strokes. Bamboo, you can imagine the shape of, of bamboo as two stalks of bamboo. Okay. Let's stand on top of day. Sound noise. Oto ne? On. Ian. Written with nine strokes. Sound noise. You can imagine the shape of a uh, sound as the volume icon. I suppose I can see that. All right. Continue. Congratulations, you completed this bonus lesson. You can review this lesson at any time by visiting the, sh the shrine in town. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. I was. Because I, I was looking in my items, trying to find the books, because that's kind of how it worked in um, in, um the, the the Hiragana and uh, Katakana versions. But yeah, I forgot the lesson. You can review the lessons here, which can be pretty helpful. All right, we still have to upgrade that. Also, I have a spirit ring that I apparently don't didn't equip to somebody. Oh, that's right, because Scarf gives speed. That's why I don't have it equipped. Yeah, the rest of you are using speed, right? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. And uh, when we come back, we'll check out the big city. Let's get our money from Hugh. Unfortunately, I need materials more than I need money, but that's okay. Anyway, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. See you guys next time. Sayonara.